like this. Some of you grab me in the pub, just grab me in the old way, yeah? Oh, oh. I'm in. Ah, switch on the man in the city. Yeah? Well, my eyes go all funny enough. <laughs> and then all his mates go, keep away from the journey. Yeah? He's nuts. I'm not nuts. You know, you do get nuts when you get in your 40s, don't you? <laughs> late, late 30s, sorry, late 30s. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. So the left hook comes in, nice and short and sharp, lock on and grab. Okay, now remember what I said about the bent wrist? If that wrist is bent and strong, it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to get a good grip. With the shoulders lifted as well, it's virtually impossible. Okay? I just want you to practice just this move. Alright? A bit monotonous, but okay, pretty important. Okay, so you go from the hook in and then you're going to lift your shoulders up and make sure this arm's strong. So you've also got a good strong arm in that position. This makes it difficult. If this was close to me facing down there, I'd be locked in there. And if you drop your shoulders, I've got total control. Total control. Okay? So all you're doing is that. You're going to throw this left hook like that and then as soon as you feel the clench go on, lock up that way. And then just push it through the way. And no knees, nothing. Just get this right first. There is an exercise, which I'll make you do later, which is silly to do, and it's just to walk around like that. I did it for hours, in front of lots of Thai children, very embarrassing. Because only children do that in Thailand. People go, no, you walk, you walk like this. Alright. <laughs> oh my god. There's people walking past the camp, going, look at the stupid foreigner. Why is he doing that? Okay, we'll do that later. We'll do that inside actually. This is the windows aren't big enough for that. Right, okay, off you go. Locks out of my arm there. That's it. We have a bit of a game and just play to go for the, the neck. Now you see, I'm in a strong position now because I've got one hand on my opponent's neck. And I'm not gonna allow Ross to get in there because as soon as he reaches through, I'm gonna lift this up and pull his head down. And now I've really got him in control. I don't want this to turn into like a brawl. You know, it always happens in the UK, Europe, where I'm teaching, people think it's great fun. Don't get me wrong, but tomorrow you'll be like this. You will not be able to come here. You'll be like this. Okay? The times never end up like that. Why? Because they do it for money. Because if, if I'm knackered the next day and I've got a fight coming up and I can't fight, not only have I lost money, the camp's lost money, so they can't feed me. Ooh, damn. Yeah? See the ties think they're always in economic terms. Okay, so you play with it, yeah? So he throws his hook, Ross throws his hook, I reach through, you reach through, stop around, get in, good, you just play like that. And when it starts getting a bit dark, just push away. And then back to back to distance. See? And get into this habit while you're training, just check for distance. Once you've been doing it a while, you don't have to do that, obviously. You know when you're at the correct distance. I'm teaching all the time, so I'm constantly showing, we've got to show people, I'll do this all the time. I know, I know I'm at the right range. But look, just do this and get used to it. Main Ross and Alec, optimum fight range. From here, I can kick his knees out. I can kick him in the ribs if this is exposed. Or if I lose half a step and I can knee him. Half a step and I can punch him. Full step and I've got the clinch. Elbows. Yeah? Okay? So playing around, I'm going to throw the last two men. So, and you see what I do? I'm going to get inside, I'm going to play. I'm sure if you don't eat condom, you know about cracking hands. Yeah. Okay? But it's the same last sort of thing, isn't it? Okay. Off you go. So what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to make it a little bit safer. Only one person can knee. The other person has to defend against the knee. So I'm going to throw this left hook. Okay? That blocks. He's going to block and control me. Okay? And the first thing I'm going to do, I think, okay, you managed to block me there, I'm going to try and step through and try and throw a knee. As I throw the knee, my right knee, yeah, uh, sorry, my left knee, yeah, all Ross has to do to defend himself against the knee is pull me and that down there. Okay? To defend against the knee. And I'm going to play around a bit and I'm going to try and put the knees in right and left. As long as Ross has got one hand on my neck, doesn't, doesn't have to have two. Okay, this one's firmly locked in here, I can't get this off. I'm going to throw these, what he's going to do is pull, 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 p
You'll control the action if you know what you're doing. You don't need to have this full clinch on. Never worry about that. Always worry about getting one hand in place. The both hands are down here. And they sort of pull with your neck. And they're like this. You know. You see, as long as you don't go, no, 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 I Get up, get up, get up. And if you need, like this, bang, bang, bang. Oh, yes, do it, so like that. And there's a knee comes in. Why? There we go, see that? Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey. Okay? Ah, we'll have a little piece. Alright? So the first two punches will throw the knee. Your part as a defender. Do a few, then swap over. Okay? And then I'll show change part of the step. So I'll step across. <coughs> Okay, see that? I'm moving in his direction. That's a little lesson to learn from that. Ross is good, he's strong, he's pulling me around. See so that's not me, he's obviously going to be bending. Now I'm going to step across. Okay, okay. and I'm going to step across him. At no time will I end up. Okay, pull me up, pull me up. There, doing this. Like this. Yeah, this is what doing this in clinch work. Yeah, keep that space there. Shh, pull me up, pull me up. Yeah, maintain the set. Yeah, I've got to. Otherwise, I'll end up getting it. Come on, come on. Like that. And then I look a fool. Psychologically, I've been freaked out. And now you've done and it. And the judges are gone. <laughs> you know, come on. And he's got me on phone, big Come on. Three shots again, then, Bob. Yeah, this Jordan, you know, for the old course. Everyone is huge, just through and around. Like, right, you know, look again and again and again. Now, we could sell this next bit of clip on, on the internet. I think you should. Yes. So, can you show the knees again? <laughs> okay, so, okay, we're playing around. I was getting on here. You see what I did? These people think the knees really start on the clinch. They actually start as the clinch starts, yeah? There. So, always bang one in. Just to show them who's boss. Okay, now just play. Okay, off you go. Okay, now Ross is reaching in the clinch. All I do is just practice controlling the arms here. Okay, so I'll keep Ross now and now just control the arms. And once you get in there, you just break. Okay, just to finish that off, just to cool down as it were. That's it, like so. You see how you use a swap back here and here just to control the arms and push them off. Okay, because you get fighters who are particularly good at clinch work and have other skills. So they'll, they've developed strategies to keep the opponent away. Okay, so again, one of them is this. As he's reaching for me, I'll just control the arms, I'll just put them away, and then we can't kick him or whatever. Alright? So that's all I'm going to wish for you now, Ross. Okay. Good. You won't push me away. Okay, use one okay. again, the clinch, I'm reaching for the pinch. It's keeping me away. Even better if I start to throw a knee, which is for my reach for him, I do the knee, push me off. Boom. Like so. So if you feel uncomfortable with the knees, as you're reaching in, you push your knee, like so. One of the defender, one of the attacker, I'll be the attacker. Okay? He's going to use that left hand to push me away. Ross doesn't want to clinch, he wants to keep me away. Okay, one more. Okay? Good. Make sure you don't pop each other in the eye. There's a big wall, I don't like that. And you go, okay, just go, go, go. Because there's other things in the wall as well, you've got to spread your toes. So I'll spread my toes, you'll have no no so I step, I'll spread my toes. You have to spread your toes to gain traction on the ground. So you're firm, you feel strong. It's why they tans all the cans like this. This is one of my toes like this. When the kids have put drawn pins on their feet, solitaire drawn pins on the bottom of the feet, so they can't put the heels down. Put the heels down now. Well, that teaches you to beat their students, <laughs> you know. So if you finally put your heels down, that's fine, it's got some drawn pins in there. Solitaire with your heels, you can train all night like that. Okay? So, what are you going to do with your partner now? It's a nice easy drill. You're just going to move around each other like this, right? You're just going to feed punches in. I want you to notice the footwork. Just, we're just going to take a few minutes on it. It's going to infuriate you. Some of you are going to be teachers, right? This is where I've seen it at its worst. I'll get my student trainer for you becoming strokers. And they'll go, yeah, I've got this student. He can't get his shin up in time. He can't get his shin up in time. 
I go all right, yeah, and what's the problem? But I can't teach it to the machine. It never seems to have it in the right place at the right time. It's slow, but no, it's not slow. The other light's slow. You step and you have noticed it. You know, if my way is forward, we'll do this together, Ross, right? So there, see, my way is forward. If the four lines are being told like this, and the student, the teacher hasn't noticed it, that's terrible. This kid's never going to learn, because he throws around this kid, don't they? Of course, it's going to be slow. And do it, keep, keep it really normal, that's it. See? So, and then again, 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 he kicks me again, I go off. I'm not going to get it in time. All the teacher has to do is notice that. And then all you see is this. Okay, carry on, that's it. There you go. Now we he kicks me. Puts my legs on my back leg when he kicks me. Never kick somebody when they're on their back leg. They gotta defend it every time. Wait till the weight's forward. Wait till kicking them. And you see loads of lads fighting on the circuit. You know, you see loads of lads fighting on the circuit in this country. And they're just kicking each other's shin blocks. And all that all the opponent has to do is change his step. All the teachers do is say, change step, you see, foot, foot forward, forward, way forward, way forward, kick, kick, kick on the way it's forward, not on the way it's back. I can always defend on the way it's back. He can throw loads of kicks at me, but I can always defend, always defend, always defend, but if my way is forward, oh shit, suddenly everything slows down and I'm getting hit. Alright? I think I might have stressed the importance of <laughs> stealing the step, yeah? So, enough talking. Let's just move around now and watch what happens if you just be punched with like this, okay? And just know it's no kicks, nothing yet, alright? Okay, off you go. Dismiss it. Okay, so I live in Birmingham now, I'm going to stop some of this. Imagine how I feel. <laughs> right, so this is what you're going to do. Kick comes in, shin block, and then just put a counter in. And then it's my turn, I kick. That's it, boss, and I don't turn out too The knee's got to come. The feeling straight up. Can I use you as a teaching point, right? The knee has got to be there. It feels really weird, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. See how you want it to be in the back, be in the forward. Right? I'm not doing this to, to sort of make a spectacle or else. It's a, a, a teaching point. Hands up like this, body square. Nice. See this? It's got this folded in. Have a quick look. You see how this has gone in? That's weak. That's weak. You put it there. Now, come on. There. Hold it with <laughs> now, there, that's where it should be. I know this is stupid, it seems really stupid. Look, there's my shin coming in. What does it hit? It hits there. No, 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 no. There, 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 there. Beautiful. Now you've got to practice holding that. So to drill in there, you just practice holding it. Just boom, like this, boom. And just practice holding it like this. Yeah? It's running around more in the knee out if you want to hit the opponent's foot. That's when you turn it out to smash the foot up, like I demonstrated. The first kick I might just block like this, and I can't kick him home and he defends or whatever. And then he throws another kick in, if it's weak, I will smash. I've now busted his foot, maybe his toes, maybe even his ankle. What usually happens then is the fight, I'll kick a bit higher to avoid the shin block. Well, this is, this is where they have real problems then. And I'll be really careful when I do this. That's when I use that. Okay? Now, you can't train to do that. Even with shin pads on, because the elbow goes straight through. Trust that I've tried. <laughs> yeah, you just hurt your, you just hurt your partner. Okay, but what we do is we'll do it this way, like so. So I pull the elbow in so that the, the kick actually hits me here on the soft muscle of the, the forearm here. And that's the drill I want you to do now, lads. So middle level then this kick comes in, boom. And now what I want you to do as well, you're going to be doing this on the pants in a short while, but what I want to make sure you do is when you kick, you put this hand forward. Watch, watch when Ross does it now. Boom, so the whole body. So what you've got to do is rotate on the axis of the body. So I'm going to kick Ross. Watch this shoulder. Old style, okay? It's still done a lot, but it's very, very dangerous. Okay? This is old style. Okay? This is dangerous because my hand is down here. My shoulder is down here. And all Ross has to do is step in, as soon as he sees that kick coming, he steps inside and he goes bang and knocks me out. This was happening about four, 13, 14 years ago in Thailand. The French went over to Thailand and were knocking the Thai champions out because they saw they were switched on. They weren't stupid, the French got some good fighters. And they saw this. Shoulder down, went, oh, punch him the jaw. Step inside the kick, punch him the jaw, knock him out. Round two, three, knockouts. <gasps> Tyson didn't like it. 
Now, a lot of meetings about it, they talked about it. Camus come up with a, this suggestion. It's your partner, like this, Ross is going to be on me. One of you is going to do the kick, and the other is going to block. As you block, again, we don't just block, we always counter. We block with the arm.